from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big early morning here on LA. Monday morning with incredible great details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we go over all the breaking news from this weekend with a major deal hatched by the president on the fourth stimulus package. We go over the fourth stimulus check, how much you're gonna get, when you're gonna get, and all the details. And we also go over the voting time. Then in the second half of this video, we'll go to fifth stimulus. That'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. And the new benchmark of inflation and why we're gonna learn more about that benchmark this week. Then we go to the big thousands of dollars that are landing locally this week for you to get. And I want you to get it as well. The toast is toasted, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. It's gonna be a big, wonderful week with a lot of stimulus news. Let's get to it. This early morning's LOI. had a beautiful weekend. Happy Monday Monday morning. Hope you're having a beautiful Monday morning as well. It is beautiful weather so far here. (laughs) We'll see how it forms later in the day. Here with you direct from Santa Monica, California. Hope the weather is good where you are. Jump in the live chat or in the pinned comments under the video and express to me where you're watching from and how's the weather. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, we go over that monthly stimulus check, how much you get, when you get in, all the details you need to know about this fourth stimulus check. We turn to the breaking news about the fourth stimulus package, and then we also go over the voting process for the fourth stimulus package. Then at the end of this video, we'll go to fifth stimulus and how it'll raise up your benefits. And in the middle of the video, the thousands of dollars you can get right now. This is LOI, the only 24 hour a day, seven days a week, financial news channel. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Always with you throughout the day. Currently airing at the same time of this video is Overnight's Crypto. After the end of this video, it sends you over to that. But first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. Next stop, 1 million. I want you to be part of this family, so hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video. One, two, 3,000 likes. It helps in the algorithm ranking and consider becoming a member. Let's start by getting right into that fourth stimulus check and understanding the House versus Senate proposal and understand how the House bill is different than that Senate proposal. The House bill provides a monthly stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal, on the other hand, is a stimulus check from July to December. Oh, interesting. So let's compare the monthly amount and see how the monthly amount is different when comparing the two. The House bill provides a first check of $2,000, and every month thereafter would be $1,000. The Senate check monthly is unknown so far, but word on the street is it's this. Wow, that is incredible. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000 a person. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 a person. Wow. If you're watching when this show debuts at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, jump in the live chat and get ready to vote House or Senate. And if you're watching it later in the morning, jump in the comments under the video video, (laughs) and tell me where you're watching from. But don't vote yet just yet. Let's go back to something that would modify this macroeconomics. Legislators, insiders believe that the House bill may only end up giving you a stimulus check for one year, not pandemic for one plus one year, because the pandemic may be over by the time of the vote. If that's the case, that would be 12 months, 12 checks, $13,000 over 12 months compared to this over six months. Okay, get ready to vote now. I think you have an opinion. House or Senate? House or Senate? Tell me which one you like, House or Senate, and tell me where you're watching from and how's the weather. All right, let's go over that fourth stimulus check. First, who gets it? You do. If you got the third stimulus check, you would get the fourth stimulus check. If you make less than 75000 you would get the fourth stimulus check. If you're a married couple, 150000 or less, you would get the fourth stimulus check. Double it. 
Household four or less, you would get the fourth stimulus check, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, congratulations, you would get the fourth stimulus check. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, and similar, you would get the fourth stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check would not come out in waves because it's not a waveable check. Hi, check. No, it don't work. <laughs> it's a monthly check. The fourth stimulus check is not income, and hence it's not taxable. The fourth stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone because you're all the same person, aren't you? <laughs> No, we're all sort of different. But the four stimulus check would be the same amount for adult dependents, minor dependents, and everyone else. The four stimulus check legislators represent would be called for a vote no later than July 4th. That means you would get the first stimulus check in the month of July for the month of July. They're the legislators. They make the representations, not me. I'm just a reporter reporting what they claim to do. And that would mean you get the first check in July for July, in August for August. And there you go. That is your first of three parts of the four stimulus checks updated 2021 in this video. Stay with me with the second part with that breaking news from the White House. But first, here's a preview of the second half of this video. In the second half of this video, we turn to fifth stimulus. That'll raise your benefits up a lifetime and pay you a lot more than that SS2400. A lot more than Elizabeth Warren was ever going to pay you. Because of this benchmark, I'll explain what that benchmark is and how this week we'll be looking at that inflationary rate to determine how high your benefits go lifetime. Oh boy, that is good. What's even better is the viewers who are absolutely killing it on getting rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners utilities. Oh boy, not less than an hour goes without someone saying they got it. And if you got it, jump in the live chat right now. Say what you got, whether it's $100, $1,000, and jump in the comments because it inspires other people. It inspires them to get the money because it's all our money to get. Don't sit back and not get this money. We cash checks on this channel. We don't track checks. We don't ask what day are they gonna pass the stimulus. No, we go and get the money thousands of dollars that is entitled for you right now. So get a pen and paper ready because I'm going to go over that money that's available for you right now. A lot of money and it starts with about $5,000 of rent. Yes, money for utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners utilities as well. What I'm going to show you is different locations, but those different locations all have different eligibility. So if one says no, don't worry, reach out to the next one. They have different eligibility. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. Key words you're going to say is rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words that they don't understand like stimulus. Don't say that word. They don't know it. And don't also say bacon pastrami on rye. <laughs> like bacon pastrami. Sir, we're not delicatessen. And it sounds horrible also. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I like it. Bacon pastrami. So don't say words they don't understand and words that they don't like either. <laughs> So there you go. $5,000 for rent. They all have different eligibility and different pots of money. So go get it. And congratulations to Tim and Linda who already got that money. The next pot of money, boy, viewers are just killing it. One viewer, two nights, two mornings ago, jumped into the live chat and said she got six to $7,000 for her family for this. It is snap. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, for her son, and her mom. Gail got it. Viewers continue to get it. Let's go over what this SNAP is and how much can you get. SNAP is money for food. SNAP is money for food. You get it from Department of Agriculture, so reach out to DOA. They'll get you on that SNAP. How much money is it? It's a fortune. It's about $16,000 for a family of four in Hawaii. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raised everyone's benefits up 15%. So go get that SNAP. $16,000 for SNAP for four in Hawaii. Six to $5,000 for rent approximately everywhere else. We are just killing it. And we are only nine minutes of this video. Well, I got more money for you. And it's embodying the spirit of this channel. This channel is about getting people money if you're new to here. This channel is not about just reading news with a script in my hand. On day one of this channel, I got viewers $25 million over the next few weeks for EIDL loans that were stalled, but were not approved. I handheld their applications, went through and went through their applications and got them approved. Saved their businesses, saved their homes, and saved their employees' homes. But in fall of 2020, which is sort of looking like now, people weren't sure if second stimulus was going to pass. So I stepped in and got people a quarter million dollars of rent, food, utilities, and more. And it saved their livelihood during that Christmas season. Now we're back with that same mentality, and we're turning to $5,000 you can get 
And I'm going to go over that right now. What is this money? It is money from your states that the federal government has ordered back. Wow. Let's go over how much it is, how you get in, when you get it. The federal government identified states as owing you money back. This is states that had overpaid you unemployment assistance due to computer error that asked you to return the money. Oh, well, congratulations. The federal government has ordered the states to return the money back to you. Huge. So how do you get the money? On direct deposit to the account that you have on file. Automatic. When you get the money, reach out to your respective state. Every state has different routing times. Which brings me to the next pot of money and another Purple Power moment. As one viewer, Cod, two days ago or three days ago, jumped into Overnight Crypto, that show that's currently airing live con in conjunction with the show right now, jumped to the show to find me to say, hey, I got that money. The refund check from IRS. Tell viewers I got it and tell them stay positive they'll get it. Isn't that wonderful? trying to go out of his way to make sure you got that information. Well, now three viewers have at least gotten it so far. Let's go over how much it is, when you get it, how you get it, and how you can track it. First, what is it? It is the money you're getting back from IRS that you pay on taxes of that 2020 unemployment. So here's an example. Let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits. Your total IRS bill was $5,000 on that 2020 return, of which $4,000 was your taxes on that 2020 return. Congratulations. You are getting back $4,000. Next, how? On the tax return you have on file with your department, uh, with the IRS on that direct deposit account on that IRS return. Then the other case is that in the mail. If you do not have a direct deposit set up, it's in the mail. So watch the mail over the next few weeks. Finally, when in the mail? In July. In, it should be chewed, sorry, it's scare you there. And then, can you track it? Yes. So go to irs.gov, set up a username and password, go in there, and track the details. Put your name, personal information, and social security number, and track it with what's called a transcript search. 70% of the time it works, and it'll reveal when you filed a 2020 return. It'll reveal when you paid for that taxes on that 2020 return. And it may reveal when that refund check is coming. There you go. Is anything better than that? Yes. And that is the second update in this video about your forced stimulus check of 2021. Well, the President of the United States on Saturday hatched a major deal, a major deal on the forced stimulus. It was a deal all in the making since day one of forced stimulus. The President said it anchors forced stimulus. And now by passing that deal, he's anchoring forced stimulus to the finish line. And what's fascinating about it is that he had talked about doing this deal after forced stimulus was passed. So why is he passing ahead of time? I'm going to explain it to you right in one second. Let me give you the wind up so you understand the backstory to what happened. It started a week ago before Memorial Day weekend when leader Schumer told us not one, but three confirmations of my reporting. One, that the reconciliation process is already underway. Two, that the reconciliation process will be done by July 4th. And three, that the reconciliation process will not be held up by bipartisan negotiations. Now, right before that, Leader Schumer had got a letter from Jalapal. <laughs> yes, that name from earlier in this video. And the letter from Jalapal said, call the vote, Schumer. Call the vote on the recon. Why did Jalapal write that letter? Because there's no reason to wait on the vote for the recon. And the letter was co-signed by 12 House Democrats. Now, who are those House Democrats? They're among the 100 House Democrats who wrote the president a letter weeks earlier saying, we are going to put Jalapal's monthly stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus package. Wow, now that is good news. <laughs> can we top that? Oh, yeah, we can. We can, because a week ago, uh, seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter saying that they are going to work with him to put those monthly four stimulus checks into the four stimulus package. Oh, boy. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's a euphemism because the president doesn't write legislation. They do. So they're basically saying to him, they're going to write it. Well, who are these people to say they're going to write it? What do they do? They are on the House subcommittee that is solely and exclusively responsible for writing stimulus checks. Oh, my goodness. Did they? Yeah, they wrote the first stimulus checks. Did they? Yeah, they wrote the second stimulus checks. But did they? Yeah, they wrote the third stimulus checks. And now they, yes, they're writing the fourth stimulus checks. Oh, my goodness. Can we get better than that? Yes. When the president and that made a deal this last Saturday. I had told you in recent days that there was a, a prior Tuesday where the president had hatched an interesting nuance. I had told you the following. 
that the forced stimulus package is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate, but that the president was worried that by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate, businesses may leave the United States and go overseas. So what he thought for process processing the forced stimulus was to raise the global minimum corporate tax rate so that businesses wouldn't leave the U.S. It was a great idea. And he initially got the G7 countries to tentatively agree. But then he told insiders off the record that once forced stimulus is passed, after forced stimulus is passed, the key word is after, he would go back and get those G7 countries to sign on the dotted line. And if they did, he would drop the U.S. corporate tax rate a little bit lower. And that was wonderful news. So what happened on Friday? On Friday, I had seen a small clipping of a news article that said, the president's meeting with a G7 country on Saturday, the G7 countries. And I said to you, that's weird. But I said, also stay tuned for me this Saturday, because I bet something's going to happen. And it did. On Saturday morning, before forced stimulus has been passed, not after, the president got the G7 countries to agree to the global minimum corporate tax rate of 15%. And even better than that, they're signing it into law this week in person. Oh my goodness, that is just insanely great news. The president came with the idea that rather than pass the global minimum corporate tax rate, which helps force stimulus after force stimulus becomes law, pass it and sign it into law before force stimulus is called to a vote to anchor all the moderate Democrats to the finish line and ensure that force stimulus is passed. Wow, that is incredible. That's like putting the tow truck and the tow hitch on a tow truck of itself and towing it over to the finish line. That is incredible, wonderful news. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over more incredible news about forced stimulus and what you need to know about the voting process and great news about this stimulus. But first, here's some great news about the volunteers. The volunteers embody the true spirit of this channel, which is people helping people. We don't just sit here and track checks. We cash checks. We make sure we're not dependent on one check or one moment in time. Ultimately, legislators can make representations, can make promises, can write bills, can call votes. But ultimately, until the check's actually sent out, we have to grab every check else that's available for us. And under third stimulus, there's a lot of checks. So if you're having problems getting that rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, internet from third stimulus, reach out to the volunteers. They can help you get it. And it's thousands and thousands of dollars. Open the description of this video and go down the description to where you find the emoji of a house. Next to the emoji of the house is the link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. It sends you to a page with some pictures of kitty cats. They aren't the volunteers. They're just kitty cats. <laughs> Lower on the page of the volunteers. Reach out to the volunteers. They're separated from Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And they'll help you find that rent, utilities, mortgage, and assistance. And I will be back with you in 60 seconds with more exciting details about fourth stimulus and fifth stimulus. Stay with me. See you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on early mornings LA. The toast is toasted, the butter is buttering. 
I'm here, you're here, and the espresso is brewing. How are you? It's early morning to LA. I hope you're having a beautiful Monday morning. We're gonna have a big, a lot of news this week. So stay with me all week long. But first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers is a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a single video across the land. The most comprehensive, the most accurate, the most in-depth reporting you're going to see across the land. And the best community of positive people, forward-thinking, and very informed and very smart. Also, like this video and consider becoming a member. More about membership later in this video. But let's cut right into Fifth Stimulus. Fifth Stimulus heats up this fall by raising your benefits up an incredible amount. Let's go over everything you need to know about that fifth stimulus. First, they'll raise your benefits up to a big new number. Remove the asset limit, add an inflationary benchmark, then remove the, inc remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over what that means and what will be the breaking news on this all week and long. First, all week long, we will learn a little bit more about this inflation rate. We've heard a lot about this inflation rate. But what we do know is that the inflation rate will be the highest of a generation this December. It's expected to be a lot more than it is now and may be the highest number ever. Jeremy Siegel from Wharton School of Business at 20%. Last week, we had the Federal Reserve out of Georgia talking about 4% growth going to 10.5% growth. That's about 7% inflation. And we've had analysts talk about 2 to 7. But we can see a lot more Labor Department numbers out this week or other economic indicators from the Fed that suggest where inflation is going to be or Fed watchers, because the Fed is giving us this sort of 2.5% narrative when most think it's going to be a lot higher. Here's how it works. First, they'll raise your benefits up under this stimulus. Everyone, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, Veterans benefits, SSA, Survivor benefits, and more. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. That benchmark, of course, is inflation. That's a lot more than Elizabeth Warren would ever give you, a lot more than CPIE, her benchmark. The way a benchmark works is they apply it in December so that it goes out the benefits in January. But not just that lifetime. Once they apply a benchmark, let's say it is 6% inflation, then you don't go up just 6% next year. You go up lifetime. Yes. Because once you step up, you never step down for benefits. Let's say the inflation rate is the year after that is 0%. You're still a plus 6%. The year after that, the inflation rate is 2%. Then you're a plus 2, plus 6%. It's wonderful news. Then under the fifth stimulus, they're also going to remove the asset limit. So there's a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. They're going to get rid of that just in time for you to get those stimulus checks in your hand. They're going to remove the income cap dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Horrible. So finally, love is going to win. You'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and not be penalized. And if you are married, you won't be penalized either. That's fifth stimulus. Go into the vote in about October, starts in September, out the door in your bank account, probably by November they represent, and then the step up would be in January. Now, there's a lot of other stuff in Fifth Stimulus besides this, and that's the value of membership. The membership links at the top of the chat and pin pen comment. Every day I send out to viewers via the community page a breakdown of what's in the Fifth Stimulus, the Fourth Stimulus, and the Third Stimulus so you know where your money is. When third stimulus was passed, I immediately told viewers that there's about five to fifteen thousand dollars in there for you, but it's not automatic. You can't be a donut guy and say, "Where's my stimulus check?" Because ultimately, while third stimulus did give you a fourteen dollar stimulus check, it also gave you five to twenty thousand dollars of additional add-ons, and they're yours to get. And you need to pounce, purple hawks, and get it. Four stimulus is heating up, and there's a lot of money in four stimulus for you to get. And unless you pounce, you're not going to get it. And Fifth Stimulus has a lot of money in it as well. Before tax day, back in, in May, I talked about tough love moments. And those tough love moments spoke about how you have to pounce and get this money or do certain things because this money is first come, first serve. And that's the value of membership. Knowing the money you're entitled to get because in a 30-minute video, there's not enough time to go over all the provisions of Fifth Stimulus, Fourth Stimulus, and Third Stimulus. And with that, let's go back to Four Stimulus with the third part of the incredible great news about Four Stimulus. Now, the Four Stimulus has a voting process, and that voting process is nine steps. It's required by the Constitution. There's no way to cut those steps out. So let me go over those nine steps so you understand how this gets finished. Step one, the House subcommittee calls the procedural vote. 
Step two, the House floor calls a procedural vote. Step three, the Senate calls a procedural vote. And step four, the president signs a procedural bill. At this point, the first half has been done. The tow truck has passed over the finish line. Time now to go get that tow hitch, which is the substantive bill. Step five is the House subcommittee works on the substantive bill. This is where the House subcommittee would ultimately do that multiple stimulus checks if they wanted to do it. Step six, the House floor votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight is the Senate voterama, that two-day event where those senators vote on the provisions that belong in the fourth stimulus. They amend. So if something's not in there, they add it in. If something is in there, they can so, so certainly change it as well. And then step nine, that the president signs it into law. What's important to understand going into the new day is that you can't be either a donut guy or an anti-donut guy. Here's what you need to know. These legislators have typically had laws and then the money doesn't go out had bills, and they don't go to voting for a bill, they, bills that don't, don't go to law, and they've had proposals and doesn't go to a bill. And then there have been moments where they promise certain things, they even had the bill written, and they folded like a lawn chair. Where there's a cash act of 2020 that was supposed to pay $3,200 to adult dependents, or the EIDL grant that's still not being paid out from the third stimulus, or Bernie Sanders promised to, to block something unless it had a $2,000 stimulus check. There's a lot of things where these legislators promise to do something, right to do something, or even pass laws to do something. But until it becomes law, we have an emoji. Not law yet and not bill yet. So don't be a donut guy. Don't sit back and say, when am I getting that stimulus check in July? Because you got to push. And that's what this channel's about. Purple power, push, push, push. Take this video and share it on social media. Hashtag MSC. Hashtag purple power. Tag your elected officials. Make the push. Now is the time to push. On the other hand, don't accept anti-donut guys. People will say, go back to work. Don't talk about stimulus checks. You know what? Just zone it out. Keep it positive, keep it focused, and keep it pushing. Because ultimately, the most important thing you need to know is that you have a right to certain monies and you need to push. The next few weeks are going to be very fascinating, but it's important to know certain things you need to know about for stimulus first. In session, not in session, has nothing to do with the stimulus checks. The in session language that people refer to refers to when the Congress is actually voting on something. But some people have taken the word out of session to mean as they're out of town, or they're not working, or they're not even in Washington, D.C. No, they're just down the hall. Down the hall in their offices or in their subcommittees. Subcommittees work. So what does in session mean? It's just those finite number of days when they vote on a floor. Vote on a House floor. Vote on a Senate floor. The rest of the time, they're in the subcommittees working, writing legislation, passing things in subcommittees. They're voting in subcommittees. Voting in subcommittees is not in session or out of session. It's subcommittees. Also, it's important to understand that legislation can get changed down to the final 24 to 48 hours. It's called the Votorama. When you're looking at forced stimulus, it could be a complete vacuum of nothing until it gets to the Senate and the Votorama in those final 48 hours. And then those senators could back up an entire tow truck, an entire tow hitch, and pour everything they want to pour in with amendments during those final 48 hours. That's the beauty of reconciliation. Everything comes down to the Votorama if there hasn't been added before. And if the senators don't like what was added before, they can change as well. And finally, talking, walking, and things like that. 2021 is a different year where people are less bombastic than they were in 2020. So don't expect press releases. Don't expect comments. Don't expect statements. Don't expect mont uh, 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 pedanticness. These legislators just legislate, and they don't often tell you what they want to tell what they're doing. As AOC once said, they just give you the law bill and say go vote. <laughs> It's also important to understand that the Votorama is a cloak and dagger event in which they don't want other people to know what they're doing until it's voted upon. So don't expect people in the legislature to tell you a lot before it actually happens. And that's why it's even more important than ever to push purple power. And with that, make sure you tag social media, tag elect officials on social media, Reddit, Instagram, Twitter, hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. Keep on pushing, never give up, and keep on pushing to the finish line. I'm next with you with Noontime Ally and also Morning's Crypto, but don't forget to subscribe 
400,000 subscribers and YouTube record. Next up, one million. I want you to subscribe and be part of this family. Like this video. Oh, then there's also Mornings LA. I sort of left that out there. Join me next on Mornings LA. LA. Uh, but meantime, right at the time that this video is airing is Overnight's Crypto. Stay with this video. It'll send you right into Overnight's Crypto for all the excitement of that big blockbuster hit show that is 15 hours long. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and a beautiful new week is unfolding here on LA.